Greetings, my beautiful lovers. Hello, it's Emmy. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to be making a cocktail. And this cocktail is quite interesting because it uses ketchup. Yes, it's going to be ketchup and Jägermeister. So this is a real cocktail recipe I found on the Extra Crispy website. I'll put the link down below. And it comes from a speakeasy located in Vienna, Austria called Tour Sieben. So when I saw the recipe, I knew I had to try it, even though I am not a huge fan of Jägermeister and it contains 56 different herbs, roots, and spices. It was actually popularized in the US by an American named Sidney Frank, who marketed and kind of branded it as a party drink. But traditionally it was consumed as a digestive aid, something that you had after your dinner to help you kind of digest your meal. So Jägermeister was invented by Kurt Mast in 1934, and the drink that I will be making today is called the Must Have, named after Mr. Mast. So Jägermeister literally translates to master hunter or master of the hunt. And this is typically served icy, icy cold. So I've had this in my freezer. So actually concocting this crazy cocktail will be a perfect opportunity for me to test out this. I found this at a thrift store. It actually is a Stoli branded item. It's basically a mason jar, but what's cool about it is it has this top on it which includes a citrus reamer. So I can just ream my lemon or lime directly into my shaker. And then when I want to pour the drink out, it has these little holes here so I can actually strain my drink out. Quite large in volume, it'd be really good for a party. It says one ounce is right here, liquid fill. One ounce of Jägermeister. Ooh, let's have a little swig. Oh. I do not like Jägermeister. It is very medicinal and cough syrup like to me. It's sweet, there's definitely sugar in there. And then it has these kind of herbal flavors, again, that remind me of medicine. It's definitely licorice and anise, which is not my favorite. But maybe in combination with everything else, it'll work. <laughs> Let's see. So we're gonna need one ounce of that. So I'm gonna fill this to liquid measure there. This is such a large jar. I'm gonna use a funnel to get that all in there. People be laughing at me if I did this at a bar like this. Whatever. One ounce of rye whiskey. And this is just good old Jack Daniels rye. Oops. Some of that leaked out, so add a little extra. I'm frightened. I thought this was a typo, but it says four ounces of ketchup. I'm gonna just go ahead and do it. That's a half a cup of ketchup. Ugh. Oh my gosh, can you see this? Four ounces of ketchup. Crazy. Okay, four ounces, that's it. Now I'm gonna add another condiment. Mustard, a bar spoon. Oh geez. Bar spoon of mustard. Oh my gosh, this is bonkers. Third of an ounce of lime juice. I'll put my little gadget on here. So I'm gonna test out my reamer, super excited to try this. I'm gonna do half a lime. Works pretty well. Now we're gonna add two thirds of an ounce of apricot juice. This was kind of tricky to find, but I did find it. it smells good. Okay, now we're supposed to add some salt and pepper. Pinch of salt, pepper. Add ice. This is crazy. Doesn't smell too bad, actually. It smells pretty good. Okay. Definitely don't want to know what's in it before I have it. Now I'm going to put this cap back on. Now I'm going to shake this. It's kind of awkward to shake. It's a little bit big. Thick too. Almost like barbecue sauce. I have a Founders All Day IPA Session Ale. Top with a beer. Here goes. Man, this is a voluminous drink here. I'm going to give that a little swizzle. Put my cap back on. Take this off. Whoa, gross. All right, now we're gonna strain it into our glass. 
This cocktail shaker is actually working really well. Wow, that's a big drink. All right, let's give this a drink. Look at this. It is a big <laughs> drink. It actually smells pretty good. I would have no idea that there would be ketchup in here at all. I would guess maybe tomato because of the color, but it smells really nice actually. Very floral. It must be the apricot juice that, and the combination of the spices from the Jaeger and the ketchup. Kind of amazing. It smells really, really pleasant. All right. Happy New Year's, lovelies. Cheers. Wow. Wow. It's kind of delicious. Wow. That's amazing. So the first thing that I notice is that this is a very substantive drink. It is thick. It has a huge mouthfeel to it. It's thick and cool and refreshing and super savory and kind of amazing. <laughs> Not in a million years would I ever guess all the ingredients that made this drink, but it's actually quite nice it is very reminiscent of a bloody mary because it's got all those savory components in there it's alcoholic but it doesn't have any of those boozy tinges or aftertaste at all it is super smooth i don't taste the whiskey i don't taste the jaeger or the beer for that matter it all just blends into this really complex homogeny of an alcoholic soup that's delicious <laughs> mm. it does finish with a little bit of a vinegary tang to it but it's not at all unpleasant. What I really enjoy are the perfumey notes that happen in there. The apricot in combination with the hops, in combination with the spice in the ketchup, and the Jägermeister all work really, really well together. Amazing. It's an alcoholic gazpacho. <laughs> what it's like. It's refreshing and tangy like that cold gazpacho soup is but it's alcoholic, which you cannot even tell at all. The bitterness goes super well with the hoppy apricot notes in there. This is totally incredible. I am totally floored by the must have, and you must have this. If you like cocktails, if you like Bloody Marys, go and get yourself some ketchup, some mustard, Jägermeister, and rye, because you will be amazed by this. Incredible. Really, really, really like that. Totally amazed by it. I don't even like cocktails or Bloody Marys, but this is totally worth trying for sure. Amazing. So there you have it. The must have from Tour Sieben, the cocktail that contains ketchup, Jägermeister, and mustard. Hope you guys are having a great end of the year holiday season. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Be sure to share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media, and I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. Blah, 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 blah.